welcome to my channel, The Venomous Swan. Today I'm going to be talking about another one of my favorite authors, Simone de Beauvoir and her novel, The Mandarin. Um, now I know we all know Beauvoir from The Second Sex and that is a wonderful book, um, but I want to talk about her novel um, because I don't think many people are as familiar with her novels, especially The Mandarins. Um, it was published in 1954 and it actually won Beauvoir the Prix Grand which is a French literary prize for the most imaginative prose of the year. And it, this book got her a lot of attention, a lot of fame. Um, the book takes place about the end of 1944, um, so World War II, uh, through the 1950s. It opens uh, with a Christmas scene. Um, a lot of the characters are gathered together in the apartment celebrating Christmas. Um, and coming to terms with, you know, the end of the war and um, the changing life that they're going to have. Um, so hence the title, The Mandarins, because it's focused on a group of intellectuals, um, similar to the intellectuals, the Mandarins from China. But anyways, so the cast of characters is interesting because Beauvoir had so many close literary friends that she were in companions that she was always with. Um, it would be easy to draw a connection between some of these characters to the ones that she knew in real life. Uh, so some people call this book a Roman Clef. Um, she wrote Beauvoir denied this, um, saying that it absolutely was not based on real people. Um, but it would be easy to see how consciously, subconsciously, she could have made the connection between, um, you know, wonderful, amazing, intelligent people she knew in her life and transcribing that into her novel. So you can decide if you think there's any similarities between the characters. Um, the main character, the main female character is Anne. She is a psychoanalyst and she is, you know, successful, has a husband, um, has a daughter, has a family, but she will struggle in the book with her outward external obligations and responsibilities and her inner desires, you know, as a woman, um, which is very bourgeois. Uh, the next is her husband, Robert. He is, well, some people claim he's Sartre and some people claim Anne is Beauvoir, but again, you can make that decision. Um, Robert is the leader and founder of the SRL party, which is a leftist non-communist party. Um, so he's definitely a very political, uh, outspoken, interesting character. Now, the two of them have a daughter, Nadine, who is a young woman, again, trying to find herself. The war is ending. Uh, her life can, quote, you know, begin. Um, so, you know, she goes through a lot of struggles as well, trying to find herself, um, trying to start this new life, trying to see what the world has in store for her. And Nadine and um, Anne don't always have the best relationship. So that's also an interesting uh, mother-daughter uh, relationship to examine. Um, next, they have a friend, Henri, who is the creator and founder of a leftist newspaper. Um, he is also a very interesting character. Now, some people claim that Henri is based on uh, Albert Camus. Again, you can decide, Beauvoir says it's not, a lot of people say it is. Um, and then there's Paula, who is Henri's long-term girlfriend. And Henri is dealing with, well, I'd say some a very Satka issue, this idea of freedom. Um, you know, he has a girlfriend, but if he commits, then he's no longer free. Uh, so that's also an interesting relationship to watch develop. Um, and then there's other characters as well that, you know, people think are based on um, like Arthur Kohlsler, for example. Uh, so again, you can decide if you think there's any similarities, if she meant to do it on purpose or not. But the book is a little bit plot driven. I mean, it does span a couple of years. It does span both France and America. But I would say it's definitely more character driven. Um, if you are looking for a fast paced, engrossing plot, this is not it. Um, if you're looking for wide, interesting cast of characters, this is it. Um, now it deals with at the end of the World War II. Um, you know, the characters are dealing with, you know, people who were collaborators, dealing with the negotiations at the end of the war, uh, dealing with kind of having their life back. Um, so it's definitely an interesting timeline, I would say. Um, and of course, the themes, like all Beauvoir's novels, um, have feminism, um, you know, have this sense of trying to find independence. Uh, a lot of the no novel focuses on Anne, um, you know, from her point of view. And um, if 
again, that's something you're not interested in. I don't think you want to take the time commitment to the novel. Um, but if you find it interesting, especially from a woman's point of view, uh, looking at the relationship of all these characters, um, how they kind of are fluctuating with one another and um, developing and growing, uh, then it's definitely a book for you. Um, I should mention, very similar to all of Bois' books, there is obviously a love triangle. So there's an American author uh, in the book and he is supposedly supposed to represent the author that Beauvoir had an affair with, Nelson Algren. Um, but again, you can decide if you think that's true or not. Um, but I will say the romance towards the later half of the novel does kind of take up a bit of it. Um, Beauvoir writes beautifully, so even if you're someone like me who doesn't like romance, I think you'll just be completely sucked into the writing and fully committed to the relationship. Um, again, it's very Beauvoir, and um, I just wanted to share a quote with you to see if you also would like the romance. Um, it says, she was ready to deny the existence of space and time rather than admit that love might not be eternal. So obviously struggles. Um, Anne is struggling with, you know, she has a husband, she has a daughter, she has found love on another continent, and that does end up taking a bit of the novel, but again, it is beautifully written. Um, and then the other things in the novel, it's very political, uh, focus on the leftists party um, in France and um, trying to evolve, trying to find the place. These are intellectuals who are now trying to find their place in a new world after the war and seeing where they fit in. Um, so again, not a fast read, um, very political, feminist, a little bit of romance. If this sounds like your kind of novel, then I think you should pick it up and you would really, really enjoy it. Um, it does start off slow, at least it did for me in the beginning, but once you get familiar with the characters um, and really, you know, just you're engrossed by her writing, I think you'll fall in love. And then you'll be like me and you'll close the book wanting more. Um, so if you're a Beauvoir fan, I say pick it up. If you've never read Beauvoir, start here. I think you'll enjoy it. And um, if you're looking for a nice big character uh, stage of cast of characters, then I think you'll really like it. And if you're interested in the end of World War II, uh, especially in France, then I think you'll like this book as well. So please let me know if you enjoyed it. If you've read it, let me know. And I look forward to the next episode with you. Thanks. Bye.